Hi guys, good morning. This is another Relax and Paint. So take a deep breath, sit and relax while you're watching and get your painting supplies today and come paint with me sometime. Um, or re-watch this and paint with me this morning. I have a few fun things I want to do with you, but I also want to share with you that I have a membership right here on YouTube that I think you'll really like. So check it out if you want to get more lessons. And we need instructors, more teachers. And I have a path for you to do that. So if you ever wanted to be a teacher, if you ever want to make extra income and um, use your talents to do that, please check where we have opportunities for you to do that on onestroke.com. Okay, so let's get started with a great project today and um, just a fun little technique I'm going to show you along the way. So let's get started. All right, so what we're going to do is we have um, a stencil here and I want to share with you. I use multi surface um, satin, it looks satin when you paint, it's got a sealer and a varnish inside of it. So I'd like to share that part with you. I want to be up a little bit higher so we're not so blurry. And so I want to show you that we are um, using that for our painting part of this. And you probably saw that we are doing, uh, let me turn it. We are doing a tropical little fun project here. And I want you to see that we're using treasure gold. This treasure gold is green. So just as a background and it's kind of fun so I want to show you that we take a, a stencil brush oops I'm going to pull this over here a little bit more we take a stencil brush and we tap into it and we're kind of rubbing it off onto our paper towel now stencils I have this and a 12 by 12 and a 6 by 6 now what happens with these tropical um fronds is that I like to use the big one and mix the little ones in but I want you to see that you can take this down and you're going to take and go in circles off of the side but because it's metallic on fabric or on surfaces that are darker or pure white you're going to see how I'm doing this making circles you can lift it to see if it's showing up see that okay making my circles. Okay, now I'm just doing this as a fun background to the painting we're gonna be painting today. All right, so I just keep going in here and working it into that same spot. Now taping it down means you can lift it and see how it's going, but you tape down like just this one side and you can keep going like that. Now I got too much paint right here. And this is the goal. We're going to paint over this, so I'm not worried about it a whole bunch. But I want you to see that what we don't want to have. Let's lift this up. Come on. <laughs> okay, there we go. All right. So you can see where I got mucky a little bit here. So I'm going to put paint uh, leaves and stuff in here, so that probably won't be a problem. But that's what we don't want to have. So I want you to see that I need to spend more time right here working it in so we're taking some of it off all right so I can come right here and add a little bit more okay lift it and I can come right down here and add a couple more of these um these fronds right down here this is like elephant ear fronds okay and you can do this other colors you can just put silver or you can actually do it other shades with acrylic but I just want you to see how pretty it does metallics on here okay so see these little bits are coming out here this is that little bit of fern here so I can line it back up there we go and since I got some of that fern I'm gonna go here I just come right in here and put see sometimes when it's a straight line I go back and forth on the line okay so I think you can turn it around any way you want and usually you have to let it dry but we're doing it such a thin coat it it absorbs right into this 
paper unless it's shiny and see how that works. Okay. So we just want an illusion of this being in the background. Okay. Is that kind of fun? All right. And it's actually a soft green when I'm looking at it, but with these lights, it makes it a little bit brighter. So um, I'm going to put that away and put my brush in the water. And then we are going to, I like to have um, a little container, um, even a scrapbooking container where I can lay these in so that um, in water or in just rubbing alcohol. In. And then when I pull it out, it cleans really easily. All right. So then I've got my double loader here and I've popped on the lid. And just to remind you, you dampen this, you lay it in here and close it. And when you get through painting, if you still have paint left, see, I still have paint left, you can put the lid back on and just come back even a week later and it's still uh, moist and ready to paint. All right. So what I want to show you is let's, since we're doing something smaller, I would normally use a three quarter inch brush, but I'm using a 16 brush, which isn't in my value pack. You kind of have to buy this on your own or get my uh, signature brushes for that. All right, because they have it in the set of 13 brushes. My value pack brushes are the best deal because it's a value pack. <laughs> okay, so I'm just going to come out here and I'm going to bring a couple spots up. Like right here, I want to put one of my Bird of Paradise right here. All right, so I want to put another one, maybe um, leaning a little bit over here. But then I do want to have just some prawns that are coming up because what we the stencil on the back is just for a nice effect in the background. All right. So anything that would be behind, oh my gosh, I picked that up wrong. Anything that would be behind, all right is um painted in here i i just want you to see that what we're doing to pick up the colors so we don't get muddy i can pull the citrus over to this edge but i'm going in between the two and splitting my brush and then i go right here to work it in and if i need medium if it feels dry i go right there and get the medium but don't get that medium too often okay all right so then we're just going to come right up here all right so these are pretty leaves that we can do. And all right, so it's just a little dramatic with that in the background. Let me come this way a little bit so maybe it's not so glary. All right, so um, the next step that we're gonna do, and it's just kind of fun to show that these are simple looking these flowers these flowers look real intense but they're very simple so what i'm going to do is i'm going to pick up if you look at this red this is apple red and moon yellow i'm barely touching the yellow or i mean excuse me barely touching the red so i want mostly yellow i'm working it in so it's two-thirds up that brush i can just go pick up more yellow and if you have a lot of paint, you don't need medium, okay? And we're doing stroke work. So stroke work makes it really easy for you to accomplish what we're trying to accomplish with flowers. So I'm going to chisel, push down, and stand up, okay? So I keep flattening my brush. I'm going to do a skinny move, a skinny move. And we're going to pick up more yellow, a touch of red. All right, and then I'm going to push down and stand up. And then I'm going to have one right here. Sometimes I make these orange, but red and yellow together give you an orange fill, right? And then I'm going to come over here with another flower. It's going to be right over here. So we're going to pick it up and put that there. And then I'm going to put one straight up. This needs more paint. So <laughs> now because of the black, I really sometimes need you to go back and put another stroke on top if you're on black. Okay. 
And it's okay if it has a ridge. See some of those ridges? That's fine. All right. Now, what I'm going to do is wash this brush. And we want to put some uh, purple in here. Or sometimes I use like a cobalt. But I'm going to put a wicker white and some violet pansy. Get a nice, I'm going to mix this in. There we go. So I split this a little bit and then I work it in. Okay, so um, a couple of these colors, like I'm gonna put the purple in here, I push and then I slide up and I can even put one in the middle of there. And then over here, I'm gonna do one that goes up this way. All right, just a little bit of it. Then I can come right in the middle and pull up more purple. So there we go. Now look, I go right back, right here where I have a puddle of it. And then I'm going to come back over here. All right. So this is a simple version, but it will be really pretty when you're all done. And I can come in here and add some purple to my greens. Just a little bit in here. See? That just adds a little bit. All right, wash the brush. Now this is, this. there's a fancy look that goes into um, holding up this um, Bird of Paradise. So let me show you. I'm gonna come in here and I'm gonna use sap and citrus. Okay, I'm gonna work that in. All right, and this is the first step. I'm gonna come right here and come across flat and down okay let's do it over here so i'm going to come right here flat and then we're going to come down okay so what's going to happen is i have red in there okay so what we're going to do is let's turn this upside down we're going to have apple red and we're going to have this come way out here all right, so let's get some more. See how I'm side loading in there? I'm going to pick up and slide here. But I actually, if I pick up and press down and slide across, you're going to get a really nice look here. Now, so what it, we wanted to do is cross over here and cross over here because what happens is we're going to come here with citrus. And it makes a nice stem that pull that all together. Okay, and this red comes right into it. So let's come right here. And you might want to come along here. Okay. See, now the bird of paradise, sometimes this is really long. Like I can show you if we had another one coming up here before it opens up, it's it's kind of like this. It's got a red coming here and it comes all the way like this and stands up and then this pops open and all these pretty colors come from inside. Okay, so we can put a little red in there, a little red in there. So not that kind of fun? So it's not difficult. It just takes the right colors and the right strokes. So put up the paints because you can use them to practice and check this out. A couple of things that um, I like to do is come back with a liner, uh, a two script liner, especially if you feel like your tips need something, but also like if your tips aren't as smooth as you would like them. But also I want you to see that you can just use some of the um, metallic now to pull this all together. You can come right along here and add some different little bits of touches of this. So that will give you a really nice finished look. Um, so if you're walking by this painting and you're gonna see a flash of color metallic, which is kind of fun, all right? So any place you feel like it needs a little bit of smoothness, 
touch, lift, and there you go. Oh, I put my finger right in this. So look, the beauty is you can just go right back over that. Now, treasure gold colors come in many colors, like purples. And besides different metallic tones, there's all kinds of these the purples and blues and like the rose gold and stuff. So it's really fun. And we sell a two ounce bottle. This is four. OK, so multi-surface paint is your as your go to paint because it goes on glass, metal, ceramic, canvas, wood. It's wonderful indoor, outdoor because it has a sealer. And so just look how fun our piece just came out. And I'm excited to share practice tricks with you this week. So don't miss. Please uh, join and share and check out our membership. We have lots of projects that are fun. Thank you. Bye-bye.